Hi everybody, it's Joseph Anderson again. Um, just I'm taking actually taking the service call. Uh, the complaint was that the swamp cooler is not cooling correctly. Apparently, it's not cooling, so we'll see see what it's doing. All right, this is actually the swamp cooler I'm actually working on. Let's see here. All right, we got pumps working because we got water coming out of the little faucets here, no nozzles. All right, fans working. Looks like maybe the pads are not getting wet enough. Maybe a couple of these nozzles uh, are plugged because um, they actually get plugged after time. Um, so we'll actually have to take a look. All right, we got those ones that drip in. Over there is dripping. It's leaking. Yeah, it just looks like the pads are not wet enough to actually cool the space. So, all right, yeah, stuff is working. You know, it's got all the water in there. Float. All right, put water in this sump. We'll see. Eh, maybe they're just not giving it enough time to actually soak the pads. I'll go ahead and check a couple of these, see how they're, uh, see if they're plugged or not. This is actually the tool that I use. You can see it here. That's actually the tool that I use. See, it's actually just a little, little snake actually fits perfect in there it's actually meant for those um, you can just actually just push them through and unplug them so um, you can actually get these at any any uh, supply shop that has you know swamp cooler equipment like uh, you know uh, Nevada cooler pads or anything like that so yeah they're actually pretty good for that stuff we'll take a look all right Alright, so I actually unplugged a couple of these uh, nozzles. So yeah, they're actually flowing pretty good now on all of them. You notice water's dripping down. Add in. Add in. So they're actually starting to work correctly now. So maybe that's all it is. And we'll give it a give it some time to soak these pads and go from there. Alright. Go. Yeah, so we'll go ahead and uh, put the panel back on and go ahead and soak this other one and see how it goes. All right, so that's pretty much it for that one. I'm just gonna let it sit and soak those pads. Um, one thing I recommend um, to beginners um, if you come up to swamp coolers like that, um, check and see if they have a switch for their pump and a switch for their fan if they have both um, I would say shut the switch off to the fan and just let the pump you know soak those pads because right now with the fan running the pads are just starting to get wet it takes a little bit because as soon as it hits those pads it's getting dried up because of the the air being pulled across there so um, yep I just recommend um, you know if they have it if not I mean it is what it is or you can even uh, uh, you know what I do too is if they don't have a switch for either you know for the fan or the pump and there's just one switch that does both what I'll do is I'll take the belt off run just the pumps you know the fan will be moving the um, the motor will be moving but still I mean it's not bringing in any air or coming across there so it doesn't dry up all the water um, so I'll do that you know just take the belt off let the pumps run soak those pads real good shut it down put the belt back on run it um, and then the customer will be happy. Um, it's just, you know, they start them first thing in the morning. Um, they expect it to cool like an AC, but it doesn't work that way. Uh, mostly here, where I'm in Vegas, so it's about 100 degrees right now, 101. So, um, they actually work very well between the temperatures of 80 and 90 degrees. Anything above that, 100, 101, yeah, they have a, have a hard time keeping up. And then, of course, those pads are, you know, not the very, very best. Um, I just recommend more cell decks than anything. It was actually on my last video. Um, so yeah, um, there wasn't too much to this one, um, but I will be posting more videos as I um, take these calls. So if there's any questions or if you're working on anything and you need you know, um, some questions asked, um, go ahead and um, you know, put them in my comment section and I can help you in any way I can. And uh, again, thanks for watching and uh, subscribe to my channel. Thank you guys.